Okay, this video is about the mole. It's a basic in introduction. When we talk about moles of substances, we're talking about amount, how much of them there are. Not the mass, but the actual counting how much uh, of a substance, substance is there. Okay, counting the number of atoms, counting the number of molecules. Because even in a small amount, though, the amount of atoms will be huge. The numbers can get quite hard to use. So what we do is we use the term of mole. So a mole is a word that re represents a number. Just like one dozen represents 12, a mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Okay? This number, obviously, is very, very big. It's called Avogadro's constant, and sometimes that's represented by a capital N and a subscript, capital A, like that, Avogadro's number, Avogadro's constant. Okay? So that's the number of atoms in a mole, or molecules in a mole, or ions in a mole. Okay? It can be anything. Why do we have this number in particular? Well, from experiment, we've worked out that that's the number of atoms in 12 grams of carbon exactly. Okay, so in 12 grams of carbon, you have that number of atoms. Then everything else then is compared to that. So one mole of carbon atoms has a mass of 12 grams. So if you take 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms of carbon, they weigh 12 grams. If you take the same number of nitrogen atoms, nitrogen atoms are slightly heavier. That weighs 14 grams. So one mole of nitrogen atoms weighs 14 grams. We call this, when we talk about the mass of one mole, we call that the molar mass. Okay? The mass per mole. And it has units, grams per mole, like that. So if you want to know the molar mass of ammonia, NH3, it'd be 14 for nitrogen, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1 for each hydrogen, comes to 17 grams per mole. The mole mass of H2O will be 1 plus 1 for each hydrogen and 16 for oxygen, gives you 18 grams per mole. 